What's up everybody, I'm Joe from Mattress Clarity. Today I'm going to be comparing and contrasting the Nectar and Ghost Bed mattresses. I'm going to be telling you the similarities between these two mattresses, the differences, telling you what type of sleeper should get one over the other, so you're going to want to stay tuned. Let's start off by talking about what's similar between these two mattresses. Number one, they're both very good values. They're both very popular as well. They both have the similar thickness overall, about 11 inches. They have a pretty similar base layer as well, and they both contain some memory foam in them. Now let's talk about what's different between these two mattresses. Number one is price. The ghost bed is going to be about $100 more expensive than the Nectar is, depending on the discounts of the day. Number two is materials differences. The ghost bed is going to be latex over memory foam over a base layer, whereas the Nectar is going to be some memory foam quilted into the cover, then some more memory foam, then a transition layer, then a base layer. There's going to be some firmness differences as well, so I think most people would agree that the ghost bed is definitely going to be firmer than the Nectar is. There's going to be some feel differences as well. You get a true memory foam feel from the Nectar where you kind of sink into the mattress versus more of a balanced feel overall that you get from the ghost bed. Now let's open up these mattresses and see what's inside and compare the construction. Starting with the ghost bed, you have latex over memory foam over a base layer. The latex is on top to make it more breathable, make sure you don't sink too far into the mattress and give you a little bit of bounce as well. Memory foam is going to give you a lot of good pressure relief, but again, having that in the second layer means it's going to be a more breathable mattress. Uh, moving on to the nectar now, you're going to have some memory foam quilted into the cover, then three inches of more memory foam, and then a transition layer, and then a base layer. So these are pretty different constructions. You're really going to sink into the nectar. I think it's going to be more appropriate for side sleeping, but I'll talk about that later on in this video. I think the ghost bed is going to be a little bit more supportive overall. I think it's going to be a little bit more breathable and more durable, but it really is just going to come down to the type of fuel that you want. Because you have latex over memory foam in the ghost bed, it's more of a balanced feel overall. You get a good pressure relief, uh, pretty good support um, without the feeling of getting stuck as well. You get some bounce. Whereas Nectar is more of just a true memory foam feel where you really sink into the mattress versus sleeping on top of the ghost bed. Now let's talk about differences in firmness and feel. As far as firmness is concerned, I put the Nectar at about a 6 out of 10, 10 being the firmest, and the Ghost Bed about a 7.5 out of 10. I think it's a pretty big difference. I think most people are definitely going to agree that the Ghost Bed is the firmer of the two. As far as feel is concerned, you, sleep, you more sleep on top of the Ghost Bed versus sleeping in the Nectar. You're going to really sink into the Nectar. It's got that true slow-moving memory foam feel. It doesn't really have any bounce. If you drop a lacrosse ball, for example, it would just kind of die. Whereas you get some good bounce with the Ghost Bed. If you drop a lacrosse ball, it would bounce right up there. So it's more of a balanced feel with the Ghost Bed overall, but it definitely is a very firm mattress, so that's just something to know. Now I'm going to talk through how I feel in different sleeping positions on both mattresses. Starting on my back, on the Nectar, it's a pretty good match for me. You kind of sink in a little bit there. Uh, it might be a little bit too soft, I think. Um, on the Ghost Bed, it's definitely a good fit there, so it's probably the right firmness. Your hips can sink in just a little bit. Uh, it's pretty firm overall. Definitely feel that extra support in that lumbar area. Switching to my side on the Nectar, it's a very good fit here. I feel like the pressure relief is pretty good. feel a little bit of firmness at first, then the pressure kind of gets melted away um, when, the, when the memory foam starts working. So I'd probably prefer the Nectar for side sleeping. I think it's just a little bit too firm on the Ghost Bed. Definitely feel a little bit of pressure on my shoulders and hips there. Uh, switching on to my stomach now, on the Nectar, I feel like it's a little bit too soft, so not quite a, uh, supportive enough for me. Um, switching on to the Ghost Bed, however, this is a very good fit for me. It's definitely a firmer than average mattress. I think you get the proper support when on your stomach. All right, guys, quick break from this video. Wanted to let you know that we actually give away a $500 Amazon gift card once a month to one lucky YouTube subscriber. To enter for a chance to win, all you have to do is leave a comment on this video and then subscribe to our YouTube channel. So comment anything on this video and then subscribe. And then every month you'll get a chance to win a $500 Amazon gift card. And that's it. Back to the video. At Mattress Clarity, we like to mix in subjective opinions with objective tests. One test we really like is the pressure map test, which shows you exactly how well each mattress relieves pressure. I get down on a pressure map, lie down on my back, side, and stomach, and you see anywhere from blue to no pressure, all the way up to red to high pressure. What really matters here is the side sleeping results. So if we throw those up here, you'll see that there's a little bit less red on the Nectar. I would say it definitely relieves pressure better in my opinion. So the memory foam, it feels kind of firm at first and then kind of slowly melts away. So I think it'd be even less red if you just gave it a little bit more time. So I'd definitely say that the Nectar relieves pressure a little bit better than the Ghost Bed does. 
Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. Joe's 5'9", 160. I'm 6'7", 230. I'm a larger person and want to give my experience these two mattresses. So today we have the Ghost Bed mattress and the Nectar here. In terms of firmness, I said the Ghost Bed was an 8.5 out of 10, firmer than average, and the Nectar here was a 6 out of 10, definitely softer than average. So in terms of sleeping positions for me, over on the Ghost Bed, on my back, pretty good overall support. It's a little bit too firm for me actually, so my hips don't sink in quite enough. On my side, definitely too firm for me. I'm feeling some firmness on my shoulders and my hips. However, on my stomach, good overall support. Over in the nectar here, on my back, very, very nice. I feel the foam kind of pressed in my lumbar area. I feel it kind of co uh, conforming to the curves of my body. Really nice on my back. On my side, better pressure relief than I felt on the ghost bed, less, less pressure on my shoulders and my hips. On my stomach, I definitely need more overall support. So what does that mean? I think if you're a larger person like myself and you sleep on your back, both could work for you, but if you want to let your hips to go in a little bit more, I'd lean towards the nectar. If you want to sleep on your side, I'd lean more towards the nectar here as well. And if you sleep mostly on your stomach, I'd lean towards the ghost bed. If you sleep with a partner, there's two additional things you're going to want to consider when looking at a mattress. That's motion transfer and edge support. Motion transfer is basically, if your partner is moving around on that side of the bed, is that motion going to be isolated or transfer over to you and possibly wake you up at night? Edge support is basically, can you sit on the edge of the bed? Can you sleep towards the edge of the bed without feeling like you're going to fall off? Now in this case, with motion transfer, I'd give Nectar the advantage. Just having memory foam on top, it does better of a job at isolating motion. As far as edge support is concerned, the ghost bed's a little bit firmer. It does just a little bit better of a job at kind of preventing that falling off the bed feeling. All right, now the moment you've all been waiting for, who should get one over the other? As far as who should get the ghost bed, it's definitely the firmer of the two. So if you want a firmer mattress, it's probably the way to go. I think it's most appropriate for back and stomach sleepers. So if you sleep on your back and stomach mainly, I would probably pick the ghost bed. If you have some extra support needs, uh, if you're a heavier sleeper, I think it's the more appropriate choice as well. And if you don't want to sink into your mattress, you'd rather kind of sleep on top of the mattress, this is the more appropriate choice. As far as who should get the nectar, if you're looking for something that's a little bit softer, it's definitely the softer of the two. I think it shines in side sleeping, so if you sleep mainly on your side, it's probably the best choice. And if you kind of like sinking into your mattress, really getting that kind of quick sandy memory foam feel, that's definitely what you get here, and you should definitely choose the nectar in that case. All right, that's basically it. Hopefully I've given you a good overview of these similarities and differences between these two mattresses. I think the differences are pretty clear, but if for some reason you're still confused, you can just leave a comment below. Tell me a little bit of information about yourself and I'll get back to you with the personal recommendation. If you're just getting started in your mattress buying journey, definitely check out mattressclarity.com. If you wanna see a full list of our top picks, simply Google mattress clarity best mattress. Once again, let me know if you have any questions.